Hi, a few weeks ago I decided to download and install the latest firmware for my TP-Link TLWR1043ND router. Theoretically everything went fine, the installation finished and I got the rebooting message. Unfortunately the router was rebooting over and over again. I realized something went wrong and my TP-Link became an expensive brick with blinking LEDs on it. I tried every non-invasive method I could find to reset the device and bring it back to life. Nothing worked for me, so I had to open the case, solder a gold pin connector and hook it up to my computer. Then I could manually upload a new firmware image to the router and install it. In this video I'll be demonstrating the whole process from opening the case to installing firmware files through the serial console. So let's get started. First unscrew all three antennas. Next, pull out the two rubber feet from the back of the case and take care of the screws. Undo the nuts from the antenna sockets. Use a metric 8mm wrench or an adjustable one. Pull out all three washers. Now use a screwdriver to gently lever the bottom part of the case. Push the antenna sockets inside. Some of them may sit tight, but don't use too much force. Try a few times from different angles and you'll manage to do it. If you still cannot push the socket inside, use a flathead screwdriver to lever the sucker from inside. Now slide out the black part of the case.
There's a plastic latch you want to undo with a small screwdriver. Don't be too harsh, the latch may break. Take care of the second latch on the other side. Success! The router revealed its board. Now we need to solder a 3 pin connector to the board. First, we need to get rid of solder from the pads to reveal the holes for our connector. I'm adding some fresh solder to improve heat transfer. Now I'm using an electric desoldering pump to remove solder. Clean the pads with isopropyl alcohol. The pads are clean and we can solder the gold pin connector. The connectors in place. We need a USB to a TTL converter which you can buy on eBay for about two dollars. Plug the converter to your USB port and install drivers if needed. Now go to the device manager and set the bits per second field. Remember the COM port number. You can unplug the converter from your PC. 
connect the converter to the router board using female to female jumper wires. I'm connecting both grounds with the yellow jumper wire. I'm using the brown jumper wire to connect the TX pin on the converter with the RX pin on the router board. The red jumper wire goes between the RX pin on the converter and the TX pin on the router. Now hook up the converter board to your PC and power up the router. We'll change your PC's IP address to 192.168.0.5 just to be sure it's on the same network as the router. Run party and select serial connection. Change the port to match your USB to TTL converter and set up the speed. After clicking open you should see your router's output. When you see auto booting in 1 seconds in the console, type TPL and hit enter. You have to be very quick and you may need a few tries. When you manage to do it, the boot process will be interrupted and you'll be able to send manual commands to the router. As you can see, it's not easy, but doable. Now run TFTPD server and make sure your firewall will not block the program. Choose your new PC's IP address in the Server Interfaces option. Now click the Browse button and select your TFTPD folder. Next click the Show Directory button in Explorer. The TFTPD folder will open. Copy the firmware file for your router to the TFTPD folder. Change the name of the file to firmware.bin to make it shorter. Now go to PuTTY and type the commands you can see on the screen.
I forgot to hook up the router to the computer with the network cable. Now it's much better, the firmware is being uploaded to the router. After the firmware is uploaded, type some more commands from the screen. Change your IP address to 192.168.1.5 Now run your favorite web browser and try to connect to the router's configuration page by typing 192.168.1.1 If you followed all steps you should see a similar page. Your router is back in business. There's only one more step left, reassembling the router. Place the board on the bottom part of the case. Slide the front panel. Take the upper cover and secure both plastic latches. Make sure the antenna wires are not blocked by anything and they are not stretched too much. Slide the black part of the case. Secure the antenna sockets in the holes. Place the washers and screw the nuts. Don't fasten the nuts too tight.
screw the screws and put the rubber feet where they belong. Screw all three antennas and you're done. The router is not a brick anymore. If you find this video useful or interesting, please give it thumbs up, share it or subscribe to my channel. It really helps me make more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.